Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the InjuredGadgets.com breakdown of the HTC Sensation 4G touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD display replacement guide. To repair the Sensation 4G, you will need a Torx 5 screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a safe open pry tool, and double sided adhesive. You may also need a blow dryer or a heat gun. To begin the repair, first remove the back door battery housing cover from your phone. Next, you will remove your battery, your SIM card, and your SD card from the phone. Using a Torx 5 screwdriver, remove the following six screws as shown here. Using a safe open pry tool, you are going to run it along the sides, top, and bottom of the back housing. This will separate the clips holding your back housing to your phone itself. With the back housing plastic frame removed, you will now remove one Phillips screwdriver on the top right corner on your motherboard. Once that screw is removed, you will remove the tape shown in the next sequence, which is a heat induction tape. Under that piece of tape are two flex cables held in by jawbone connectors. You will release these two jawbone connectors. Once those two jawbone connectors are released, you can then pull those two flex cables out. Make sure to pull the jawbone connectors in the right direction or you will completely snap them and destroy your phone. Next, you will remove the plastic covering your volume cables on the right side of the phone. Once that little piece of plastic is removed, you can go ahead and remove the piece of plastic from your motherboard of your volume power flex cable. Make sure not to detach it from the actual motherboard, but simply just pull it out as shown here. Once that flex cable has been pulled out, you can go ahead and disconnect two connectors on the back side of your motherboard. As you can see, one actually popped out while we were removing the phone's motherboard. The other one is held in. We will zoom in on it, and you can see us disconnecting it from the board. Please note, these are jawbone connectors. Once again, make sure to pull them in the correct direction to not destroy these cables. Once that cable is released, go ahead and pull it loose. Don't worry about being too, too careful with this if your touchscreen is cracked, as that is the touchscreen cable. And since you are replacing your touchscreen, you can break that cable. With all the cables released, you can now go ahead and pull your motherboard away from the LCD touchscreen digitizer and LCD assembly. Using a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer, you are going to heat up the top, bottom, and sides of your front touchscreen glass digitizer. This will loosen up the adhesive which holds your touchscreen glass to the LCD. 
This process may take about three to four minutes to properly heat up the front. Make sure not to stay on one area too long or you could damage the LCD underneath your touchscreen glass. Once adequate heat has been applied, use a guitar pick or your safe open pry tool. This will help you separate the glass from the LCD. Do not push the guitar pick or pry tool down into the LCD. More so you will notice that there is a crease between your glass and the LCD. Always start from the top on the HTC Sensation 4G because on the bottom where the volume home button back button are, excuse me, not volume button, but the home button back button are, there is a cable underneath that under with, and it's held in with adhesive. You do not want to rip that cable. I will show in the next sequence how we safely separate it without ripping that cable underneath. As you can see here, I'm just slowly going along the bottom. You will see a white cable. You want to make sure that this white cable is not coming up with the touchscreen. Like I said, it is held in with adhesive to the touchscreen, so it naturally will want to be pulled up. Just go ahead and push it down as you're going along the bottom of the touchscreen. Be very careful during this process, because if you do rip this cable, your buttons on the very bottom will not light up. With that properly separated, you can go ahead now and pull your touchscreen glass digitizer out of the phone. Don't worry, you can go ahead and just rip the cable here as you no longer need it if your touchscreen glass is broken. If any fingerprints get on your LCD, go ahead and use a microfiber cloth to clean up your LCD. We've gone ahead and prepped our new touchscreen with adhesive on the bottom, the top, and the sides. We sell this double-sided 3M adhesive sheet on our website. You will just cut it out yourself and apply it to the touchscreen. You want to apply it to the black sides not on the actual glass where you would see your display from. Once that is set up, go ahead and take your digitizer flex cable. You're going to poke it through the little hole on the top. Be careful not to rip this cable pulling it through this hole. If you are having a very, very hard time pulling it through, you can actually slightly pull the LCD up. Once again, being very, cable not to crack, being very careful not to crack the LCD during this process. But you should be able to push that digitizer cable through without too, too much force. And it will come out through the other side. Once the cable is properly through, you're going to go ahead and want to remove all the adhesive on the sides, the top, and the bottom, the one layer, so that you can safely apply it. If needed and you got fingerprints on your screen or LCD, once again just use the microfiber cloth to wipe those off before applying everything down. Go ahead and push the screen down, making sure it's flush with the entire frame, that there aren't any creases or spots where the screen's coming up on. Make sure it's nice and tight with the proper fit. And then once that is done, you can go ahead and start the complete reassembly of your phone. First, take your volume button flex cable, which still might be attached to the side of the phone, and plug that in to the back of the motherboard. Once that is plugged in all the way, go ahead and push the jawbone connector down, securing it in place. Next, you will take your touchscreen glass digitizer, plug that in all the way. 
make sure this goes all the way in. If for some reason your touchscreen is not working after you've completely reinstalled your phone, this is the very first thing you want to check. You want to make sure that this Jawbone connector was in fact, in fact plugged all the way in and one side wasn't out and that it's perfectly flush. Once those two flex cables are in, go ahead and reassemble your motherboard in place. Make sure that the actual motherboard goes into its brackets properly, that no sides are sitting up because when you put the back housing on or the screws in, you want them to be sitting perfectly flush on the board. Take the power button flex cable ribbon, properly place it into its correct spot, fold it into the top of the back housing, make sure it's still clicking. Push in all the sides of the top and the bottom. Once the top is properly secured, go ahead and take that Phillips screw that we took out earlier and place it back in onto the top of the motherboard. Next, go ahead and secure the volume button flex cable back down into place. There is adhesive behind it. You can just go ahead and push it down and it should hold in its place properly. Take the bottom of the motherboard. Once again, make sure that the brackets holding it in are secure, that they're in place and there aren't any brackets on top of the motherboard. Once that is ensured, you can go ahead and plug in the two flex cable ribbons. Once the two flex cable ribbons are properly plugged in, you can go ahead and push down on their jawbone connectors, securing them in place. Make sure these ribbons are completely pushed in. Now you can go ahead and push in the antenna flex cable ribbons into their proper spots on the side of the board. Make sure they go into these little grooves and that they stay down. You don't want them coming up or staying on the side, uh, interfering with your battery, your, your back housing cover later on when you put that back on. At this point, you can go ahead and place that little plastic that went over your volume button flex cable ribbon back on. Make sure you line it up properly and put it on the correct side. You will notice that the grooves perfectly match up if you have chosen the correct way to put it back on. Go ahead and take your back housing plastic frame, place it in place, make sure the clips are properly secured. Uh, you want to make sure that this is once again sitting flush. I know I say that often, but you, you want to have your phone looking as factory as possible. So make sure all the clips go back into place and snap in and there aren't any loose ends anywhere. Once the uh, back plastic frame is properly put in, you can go ahead and put those six screws back in place. And at this point, go ahead and put your SD card back in and your SIM card as well. Finally, your battery can go in place and then the actual back housing battery cover. Once that's all done, go ahead and turn on your HTC Sensation 4G. And you've got yourself a brand new phone again. Once again, for all replacement parts and repair tools, visit us at InjuredGadgets.com. Thank you. Thank you.